Hello and welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Aaron Porras here with the latest news from Israel. IDF forces shut down in alleged gun workshop in Hebron, two printing shops in Ramallah, confiscated incitement material and arrested 19 Palestinian suspects overnight. The raids took place last night all across the West Bank. Security forces detained seven Palestinians, including two former prisoners, during raids in the Hebron area. They also closed a machine shop there, which is suspected of manufacturing guns as part of an ongoing crackdown on makeshift weapons in the West Bank. In Ramallah, the army shut down two printing shops which it said were publishing materials being used for incitement to terrorism. The IDF, which closed 44 alleged gun shop operations and seized more than 450 weapons in the West Bank in 2016, believes there are hundreds of thousands of illegal guns still in circulation on West Bank streets. A Jordanian court has sentenced a man to five years in prison and hard labor for plotting to attack and murder Israelis. The man attempted to infiltrate Israel in June by crossing over the border south of the Sea of Galilee armed with knives. After the man was caught by Jordanian soldiers, he told them that he intended to take part in jihad to help his brothers in Palestine. On Sunday, the court rejected the man's appeal of his conviction and upheld the five-year jail term. The leaders of the ultra-Orthodox parties, the chief rabbis, and Habay Tayyoudi No. 2 Agriculture Minister Uri Ariel have called on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to repeal the cabinet resolution calling for a state-recognized progressive Jewish prayer area at the southern part of the Western Wall. A joint declaration also demanded that the chief rabbinate be allowed to appoint its own legal counsel in place of the attorney general to argue against the High Court of Justice petition that the progressive movements have filed. That petition asked the court to order the government to implement the Western Wall plan, which was agreed to a year ago. The proposal reached by the government would establish a separate prayer section at the southern end of the Western Wall near Robinson's Arch. Prayer in that section would be conducted according to the customs of the non-Orthodox movements. Israel's former Ashkenazi chief rabbi Yonah Metzger has been sentenced to three and a half years in prison and to pay 5 million shekels or 1.3 million dollars. The rabbi stands convicted of three counts of taking bribes, one count of receiving benefits fraudulently, and one count of fraud and obstruction of justice. During his 10-year tenure, as the Ashkenazi chief rabbi in Israel, Metzger took over 5 million shekels in bribes, which explains the amount he's been ordered to repay to the court. He also took a personal cut from donations, typically numbering 10% of the donation or more. In a plea deal that the rabbi reportedly agreed to, Metzger pled guilty to some of the charges in exchange for a reduced prison sentence. He was originally charged in 2015 for fraud, theft, conspiracy, breach of trust, money laundering, tax offenses, and accepting bribes. He was originally arrested and questioned just one month before the end of his 10-year term as chief rabbi in July 2013. Israel retains two chief rabbis at all times, one Ashkenazi and one Sephardic. Together they lead the rabbinate of Israel, which has jurisdiction over many aspects of Jewish life in Israel, including, but not limited to, marriage, divorce, burial, kosher law and certification, and overseeing the rabbinical courts in the Jewish state. Metzger will be the first chief rabbi in Israel to serve jail time. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Aaron Porras and see you next time with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.